Welcome to our video on the Colossus of Rhodes, a true wonder of the ancient world. This massive statue stood at the entrance of the harbor of Rhodes, one of the most important trade centers of the ancient world. In this video, we will take you on a journey through time to discover the history, mystery, and legacy of the Colossus of Rhodes. According to ancient legend, the Colossus of Rhodes was built to celebrate the city's victory over the invading army of Demetrius. Another legend says that the statue was built to honor the sun god Helios, who was said to have protected the city during the siege. But perhaps the most famous legend is that the statue straddled the harbor, allowing ships to pass between its legs. Despite the fact that these legends are not supported by historical evidence, they have helped keep the memory of the Colossus of Rhodes alive for centuries. They've also helped to fuel the imagination of artists, writers, and filmmakers who have used the statue as a source of inspiration for their work. The Origins of the Colossus of Rhodes, a story of wealth, power and triumph. The Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, stands as a testament to the wealth, power and triumph of the ancient Rhodians. But how did this massive statue come to be? It all began in 305 BC, when the island of Rhodes was one of the most important trade centers in the Mediterranean. The city-state was a powerful naval force, controlling trade routes and amassing great wealth. But in 305 BC, the city was attacked by the ruler of Cyprus, Demetrius the besieger. The Rhodians managed to fend off the attack, and in celebration of their victory, they decided to build a statue to honor their patron god, Helios. The statue was to be built on the entrance of the city's harbor, where it would be visible to all ships entering the city. The statue was designed by the famous sculptor, Chairs of Lindos and it took 12 years to construct. The statue was made of bronze and stood at a height of 32 meters. It was said to be so large that ships could sail between the legs of the statue. The Colossus of Rhodes stood as a symbol of the city's power and wealth for 56 years until an earthquake in 226 BC caused it to collapse. Despite its destruction, the Colossus of Rhodes continued to be an inspiration for centuries to come, influencing art and culture throughout the ancient world. Today, the Colossus of Rhodes remains one of the most iconic ancient monuments, and efforts are being made to recreate this wonder of the ancient world. Join us as we unveil the secrets of the Colossus of Rhodes and discover the fascinating history behind this ancient wonder. When the people of Rhodes decided to build a statue to honor their patron god, Helios, they knew it would be no small feat. The statue was to be built on the entrance of the city's harbor, where it would be visible to all ships entering the city. But what was the process of building such a massive statue, and what materials were used to create it? First, a site was chosen on the entrance of the city's harbor where the statue would be built. The foundation of the statue was dug out and a base was constructed to support the massive weight of the statue. The statue was made of bronze, which was melted down and poured into molds to create the individual parts of the statue. These parts were then assembled on the base. The statue stood at a height of 32 meters and was constructed with the use of simple tools and techniques. The statue was also built with a complex system of internal supports and frames, to ensure its stability and longevity. The Colossus of Rhodes stood as a symbol of the city's power and wealth for 56 years until an earthquake in 226 BC caused it to collapse. But despite its destruction, the Colossus of Rhodes continues to be an inspiration for centuries to come, influencing art and culture throughout the ancient world. The Colossus of Rhodes stood tall for 56 years, a proud symbol of the wealth, power and triumph of the ancient city-state. But in 226 BC, an earthquake struck the island of Rhodes, causing the statue to collapse. The collapse of the Colossus was a devastating blow to the people of Rhodes and it was left in ruins for centuries. But what happened to the fallen giant after its collapse? According to ancient historians, the ruins of the statue were left in place for nearly 800 years. It was said that the statue was so large that it took 900 camels to remove all the bronze pieces. Despite its destruction, the Colossus of Rhodes continued to be an inspiration for centuries to come, influencing art and culture throughout the ancient world. But it wasn't until the medieval period that the statue was rediscovered. Travelers and traders passing by the island of Rhodes would write about the ruins of the Colossus, sparking interest in the ancient wonder. In the modern era, the Colossus of Rhodes has become a popular subject of study and interest. Efforts have been made to recreate the statue and to uncover more about its history and legacy. The Colossus of Rhodes stood tall for 56 years, a proud symbol of the wealth, power and triumph of the ancient city-state. 
but even after its collapse, the Colossus of Rhodes continued to have a profound impact on art and culture. The Colossus of Rhodes was one of the most iconic statues of the ancient world, and it influenced the art and culture of the time. The statue was said to be so large that it could be seen from far away, and it became a symbol of the city's power and wealth. It is believed that the statue was the inspiration for many other statues and sculptures in the ancient world. The statue also influenced the development of bronze casting techniques, and was said to have been the largest bronze statue of the ancient world. In the modern era, the Colossus of Rhodes has become a popular subject of study and interest. Many artists, sculptors, and architects have been inspired by the statue, and some have even made efforts to recreate it. The Colossus of Rhodes has also been featured in literature, movies, and TV shows as a symbol of ancient wonder and power. Join us as we explore the impact of the Colossus of Rhodes on art and culture, and discover how this ancient wonder continues to shape our understanding of the past and inspire us today. The Colossus of Rhodes stood tall for 56 years, a proud symbol of the wealth, power and triumph of the ancient city-state. But after its collapse, the statue was left in ruins for centuries. Now, in the modern era, there are efforts to recreate the Colossus and bring this ancient wonder back to life. In recent years, various groups and individuals have proposed plans to reconstruct the Colossus. Some have proposed building a replica of the statue using modern materials and techniques, while others have suggested using cutting-edge technology like 3D printing to bring the statue back to life. Some have even suggested building a full-scale replica of the statue in its original location at the entrance of the city's harbor. Despite its destruction, the Colossus of Rhodes continues to be an inspiration for centuries to come, influencing art and culture throughout the ancient world and even today. The Colossus of Rhodes is a symbol of ancient wonder and power, and the recent efforts to recreate it are not only an attempt to revive a lost piece of history, but also to inspire future generations with the stories and legacy of the ancient world. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting historical videos. Also, leave a comment below with your thoughts on the Colossus of Rhodes and how it continues to inspire us today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.